So you've just installed your new copy of on-screen takeoff, quick bid, or digital production control. But now, you need to activate the software to unlock all its features. When you purchase the software, you are provided with either a license key or a server code that you can use to gain access to your Construct Connect products. If you're looking for these, you can find them in the customer portal at myoncenter.com. If you don't have access to the customer portal, contact your manager or whoever is responsible for distributing licenses within your organization. Before we discuss how to use that code to activate the software, let's first discuss the difference between a license key and a server code. A license key is a 25 character code separated by hyphens with a product prefix followed by a plus sign. When you use a license key, that code is validated over the internet with our servers each time you open the product, but the license itself is perpetually owned by your computer until you decide to manually return it to the server. That means that even if you close the program, that license remains assigned to your machine, unless you return it. A server code, by contrast, is a shorter code with no hyphens, preceded by a product prefix and the at symbol. A server code is a cloud-based license manager for a single product. This server code is used to float a license while the program is open and you remain connected to the internet. To float a license means that when you close the application, the license you are using is returned to the pool of licenses in the cloud and someone else from your organization can then use it. That is in stark contrast to the license key model, which keeps the license on your machine until you release it. When you use a server code, you do have the ability to borrow a license for up to seven days, which keeps it assigned to your machine until that time expires or until you manually return it if you choose to do so before the seven days are over. So now that you have a better understanding of the types of licenses your company might use, let's explore how you activate one of your organization's licenses to unlock your software. When you open an unlicensed version of either OST or QuickBid, you see a pop-up that prompts you to activate the license or continue in free viewer mode. You can click Activate License from there, or if you skip that licensing assistant, when you have the program open, click the File menu and then select Check Authorization to open the License Activation window. Within the License Activation window, there is a large blank field in the middle of the window where you are prompted to enter your license key or server code. Enter your code and then select the Validate button to the right. If this is a license key, your license is activated at this point and you can close the window. If you're entering a server code, after you click Validate, you are given an additional option to borrow the license for seven days for offline use. Remember, when you borrow a license, it is consumed by your computer for the entire seven days and unavailable for other users unless you manually return it earlier. Make your choice and then click Activate. If there is a license available, it will be applied to your computer. Once activated, you'll see the active license in the section at the bottom of the window. To see details about a license, click the expand icon to the left of it. If you have an additional feature license to activate, do it now, or you can click the close button to return to the program. Your activated features now display in the bottom right corner of the application. This indicates that the program is authorized and ready to use. Your license is now activated on your machine. You can also return that license, removing it from your current machine anytime you like. This frees the license up so that others can then use it or so that you can use it on a different computer. To return the license, click the file menu and select check authorization once again. In the section of the screen where your active licenses display, you'll see a return button to the right of each license. Select return for the license you want to release. You must return each feature separately, so you could feasibly return your DPC license while retaining your OST license, for example. As a reminder, if you're using a server code and have not borrowed the license, your license is automatically returned when you close the program. You do not need to manually return the license unless you need to temporarily open up a license for someone else in your organization to use while you still have the program open.